Are you excited? Yep. I'm also a bit of Why are you worried? I'm a girl. <laughs> I thought you mean I'm afraid that you'll crash. Uh, really? Because you drive kinda slow. Drive kinda slow. I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't worry about you. You drive kind of slow. After taking a couple pit stops along the way, we arrived at our hotel around 4 p.m. The room was a bit small, but very clean and neat. There was a charming central atrium, which connected the shared facilities like the library, the dining area, and even the kitchen. After unpacking and taking a short break, we went to this place for some delicious traditional Chinese food. Beef, 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 beef rolls. <laughs> we actually didn't go for the beef rolls. We ordered milkfish dumplings, soup dumplings, steamed broccoli, and sweet potato pasty. The food was delicious. We actually wanted to explore the area a bit more, but we had to get up real early in the morning. So, we decided to go to bed early. Huh? No people, so it's okay if I don't wear a mask. We thought that if we got up extra early, we'd be able to avoid a traffic jam. But I guess everybody had the same idea. And it didn't take too long for us to run into a convoy. We're heading to a place called Lu Ye Highlands. According to Google Maps, it should take us about 45 minutes to get there. The reason for getting up this early was for us to catch the sunrise. But at the rate we're going, I don't think we'll make it in time. I guess so. Different context. Okay, so it took us about an hour to get here, which is not too far off from Google's estimate, but it did feel much longer than that. By the way, the entrance fee was 200 NT. And here I thought we woke up too early. Turns out, we woke up too late. Although we missed the sunrise, at least we got here in time for the main event. The Taidong Hot Air Balloon Festival is an annual event where participants from Taiwan and abroad show off their hot air balloons. This year, some of the balloons came from Brazil, Japan, and the USA. Apart from admiring the designs and taking selfies, you could also take a ride on a balloon. That would have been cool, but we didn't manage to make a reservation. So all we could do was watch from below, which was pretty good too. After all that careful driving, somebody still managed to scratch my car. Anyway, to our next location. Before heading back to Taedong proper, we decided to stop off at this little place. 
is called Churu Ranch. Now I'm not a huge fan of Penny Zeus, but I still wanted to stop by, so here we are. Actually, it's a nice place to kill some time. We got a quick bite to eat, and after that, we headed back for a short -term nap because both of us were getting tired and I had a lot of driving to do in the evening. The last place we wanted to visit was a place called San Xian Tai. It's supposed to take about an hour and a half to get there from our place, but... And we arrived at around 5.30. Drove for an hour and a half just to get here. That's quite a popular place in Taidong, called San Jian Tai. Decided to come out here around golden hour. Still have like 15 minutes to golden hour, but so far it still looks very cloudy overcast. We'll see if we can take some good photos. Although we arrived before the golden hour, the sun sets on the opposite side of the mountain. So I couldn't get a nice golden sunset photo. The sunrise here must be awesome though. The light is quickly fading away. I still have an hour and a half journey back to our hotel. I think it's time for us to go back. Can you eat ice cream for free? It's small. It's ice cream. But it's Do so you tiny. It? Yeah. It's not really ice cream, it's pop popsicle. Oh nice. I look beautiful today. So every day. Gonna go pick up the car. It's at the parking lot. <coughs> One of the problems with tie down is that there's a uh, lack of parking spaces when i was looking for a hotel to stay at it was kind of hard finding a place with uh, free parking the hotel we stayed at is kind of cool because it's like part hostel part hotel so we had our own private room only bad thing is their parking is not on site i need to walk like two minutes to get to the <coughs> parking lot Still upset about this scratch. <sighs> I did my best to avoid into getting into any kind of scrap or accident, and then this happens. Somebody probably opened their door in my car. Not sure if I'll have to pay for this when I return it, but I guess we'll see. Sini wants to bring back some mochi, but there's a line. I hate lines, but seems like Taiwanese people love it. Let's see how long we'll have to wait. I've got no choice but to park in front of somebody's house. I don't like that, but I have no choice. So I'm just gonna stay in the car and wait till she's back. If someone tells me to move, at least I'm in the car to move it away. A few moments later
How was it? Oh my goodness! I left for like one and a half an hour. And then people who were in front of me, they ordered like 12 boxes and then one, one person ordered 20 boxes. And then the car said, oh, each time you had to wait for 30 minutes. So, and just like that, our weekend in Taidong was over. Now the question is, was driving to Taidong worth it? By renting a car, I spent about 3,900 renting the car, about $1,444 on fuel, and $185 on tolls, which comes up to $5,329. If I had taken the train, then paid for a two-day tour, which would have given us about the same level of comfort, I'd have to spend about $2,200 on train tickets and about $2,998 on a tour, which comes up to about $5,218. That's a difference of $111. Personally, I think that extra $111 is worth the extra comfort and freedom. Although, I'm still tripping about that scratch on the door. Do you think renting the car was a good idea? Oh, a lazy idea. Why? Because I don't have to stay after this crazy weather. You mean the sun? Yes. So if we came again? I would never go back to school. So, overall you think taking a, renting a car is better than renting a scooter? So, what do you think? Would you consider renting a car to go traveling in Taiwan? Let us know in the comments below.